I'm Sharice Nicole with Coco Fab TV. We're on the sunset trip at the London Hotel for the TV One premiere of RNB Divas LA. Don Robinson, girl. Okay, so I thought I was in the group. I'm just letting okay. you know. I was the fifth member that y'all didn't know about. I remember, I love it. Obviously, going into the show, you have an, a preconceived idea of what it's going to be. Was it what you thought it would be? Um. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick question. Yeah, it is. I can't tell you too much. It was some parts of it were, and some parts of it weren't. And okay. and some parts I was pleasantly surprised, and some parts a little disappointed. I gotta say. But it's okay. Biggest misconception about you, you can clear it up. What, what would that be? What would that be? That I destroyed En Vogue. Oh. Single-handedly, all by myself, I destroyed this <laughs> amazing group that every, the world knew. Um, not at all. There were so many problems within the group dynamic. Two pennies per album started it off. We were only making that much money. It was a joke. It was a joke because we were huge. And so that was it. <laughs> Karen, what her? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. You are not serious. This industry, girl. It's a mess. You it's have no idea what's really going on behind the scenes. Exactly, and what was worse is that the girls in my group didn't want to fight to make it better. A lot of times people are like scared and they want to stay where they're at because they don't think they can fight the big record company. You know what I mean? So I was the only one saying, hey, this is not right. And I always say if Left Eye was alive and she was in my group with me, we would have had a lot more. Because yes. she, she fought. Yes. She fought. She didn't play. You were the diva that had the beauty and the brains and the business. I just was fearless, thank you for that, but I had a lot of courage. I just thought, this is so wrong. We're doing all the work and we're, they're making the lion's share of the money. We're working our butts off, but they're making all the profits. So yeah, I just wanted it to be fair, that's all. We deserved it. Was it what you were expecting? No, <laughs> it wasn't. I, um, I thought I'd be more guarded than I was, okay. honestly. Because I thought, well, they're not getting me. I'm not going to be emotional. They're going to have me crying and stuff. But being in it makes you let go. You know, each each day you get to know the ladies, Your my guards went down a little bit more because they became friends. They became people that I trusted more. So you begin to open up a little bit more than I thought. So they got me. The hardest part was having a conversation. Just talking. Because we're all used to being the one who's on. You're all type a. So we're all going, yes, and, those, and me, 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 I and me. It's time to listen to me, right? Isn't it me time? And all of us are going, no, it's me. No, no, me. So that was weird at first because you're trying to finish a sentence. They're like, no, that reminds me of something that happened to me. So we learned okay. how to, you know, jump in and out, the double dutch. Who are you the most, like, the closest to? Who did you find yourself becoming the closest to? I think Little, Me Little Mo and Claudette. Yeah, Little Mo is crazy. She speaks her mind. She's not afraid to say anything. Claudette to me is just just gentle. She's a very sweet and gentle spirit. Um, Misha Lay is just a goofball. Oh, no. You can hear her talking in the background, and every time she speaks, you're going, what? she's a nut. <laughs> it's so funny, but it was great to get to know each of them because I didn't know them well. Right. I knew of them more than I knew them knew them. So I enjoyed that. I really did. Okay, so I'm here with the beautiful Claudette. Five, five, we're brown eyes. That song will forever haunt me. Listen, no, I'm just playing. No, that was my jam. You know, I'm only 5'2", but I was like... I'm thankful, and I'm not 5'5", five five either, child. I'm 5'8". That didn't rhyme, though. We're all excited to see it because we don't know a lot about you. This was... City High, of course, was before TMZ was following everybody like crazy and everything like that. So, um, so tell me a little bit about... What do you think is the big, biggest misconception about you? Um... I think the biggest misconception would be that um, I'm a player, but I'm not. You know, I, I was a young woman in a very difficult situation. I was in an abusive relationship, and this is where people get, they think, oh, this and that, you know, but that's not the case. I'm a mother, I'm a loving person, I'm an understanding person, and um, I'm God-fearing, you know, and, um, and I'm ambitious. So... And praise the Lord, you came through it. God is good. Yes, he is. I've been through a lot these last 13 years. It's, that was It's been 13 years since City High. And um, I'm a grown woman now, and and y'all going to see that. Okay. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. Yes, you better twirl, girl. <laughs> I 
now we are here celebrating the launch of R&B Divas LA. Yes. The last time that I spoke with you, you gave us the sneak peek and said there will be an R&B Divas LA. And I was like, what? And now here it is. Yes, yes. Thank God. Thank God. We're here. We here. I remember talking to Little Mo and talking to Kelly Price and talking to these ladies on the phone when this idea was very new and just the energy and the reception was amazing and even though everybody couldn't do R&B Divas Atlanta, just the fact that the network decided this is a good show, let's green light it. Faith and I always wanted this to be um, a lot like uh, R&B, I'm sorry, Housewives of Atlanta or the Bravo franchise and it's always something that we felt could go you know, everywhere. So, mm -hmm. Are you going to expand even more, maybe? Absolutely. Uh -huh. We want to see R&B Divas Detroit. What? We want to see R&B Divas Philly, New York. We want to see, I mean, just like the Housewives franchise. Why not? I'm Claudette Ortiz of R&B Divas LA, and you're watching Coco Fab.